Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is auto save notes data using jQuery and Ajax. So in my previous video, I have created text area and inserted its data into database. But the problem was it was creating multiple entries into database. So we need to stop that and like we need to create only one row for like a day. A particular day is having only one entry so that's the JS I have created and that's text area so now let me fetch the notes for today's date so for that write PHP query for fetching the day daily notes so before that include database.php then write select query select star from daily notes where notes date is equal to so define date also and pass that date in where after that execute the query and fetch the result after that write input type hidden name is going to be notes id value notes id and give id also notes id then fetch notes id in js copy notes description and fetch with id notes id and pass this id to ajax data after passing open note save.php fetch the notes id using post after that check if condition if notes id is not blank then we have to update otherwise we are going to insert the data when notes id not blank then write update query so write update daily notes set note description equals to note description where notes id is equals to notes id and after that execute the query next let me print the last insert id in mysql insert id as i need to give value to notes id now in js if response is not blank then give value to notes id now let's check in browser write something and check in database one row is inserted let's change text so it is updating now in the same row it's not creating the new row. write anything with enter it's going to save remove all and write another text so it's saving so our multiple row problem is solved now you see if we refresh the page then today's notes data is blank so we don't need that we will be passing notes description in text area as we have already fetched that so i'm just going to pass notes description and let's refresh now our text area is not going to be blank it's having the data that is present in database for today's date and now you can update it will be just updating the data not inserting any new data So now let's move to displaying text for autosave. Create div with autosave text id. Then write in js document.getElement by id and inner html write notes saved. 
so let's check in browser write something in text area so notes saved is displaying but notes save is displaying like continuously so for that we will be you know applying set interval on text also so copy set interval and remove auto save function and write inner html that i have just written so let's again move to browser so not save is displaying after some seconds and after that it's getting blank so you can change the seconds to how many seconds you want and it's displaying the same write anything and not save is displaying then again write it's displaying after some seconds it's displaying so it's very fast as you can change according to your needs how many seconds you want in code you can also put this set interval outside will give you the same results so let me summarize what i have done in this video i have fetched first one the today's notes and displayed that in text area then after that passed notes id to ajax and then to db file and updated the data according to the notes id and then again if it's inserted then i have taken this response and pass this response to the notes id so i have completed this video see you in the next video thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching